Hey guys, AJ with Special Occasions DJ and Lighting, and today I wanna to talk to you about the cost of your wedding DJ. In this video, I'm gonna go over the cost of a DJ for a same day ceremony and reception. So getting straight to it, how much does a wedding DJ cost? In Southern California, where we're based, a typical wedding DJ will charge somewhere between $2,000 to $5,000 for a same day wedding and reception. This usually is for a guest count of 100 to 200 and includes minimal lighting. Now some of you guys may be thinking, whoa, someone told me a DJ costs $500. Do those DJs exist? Of course they do. But when it comes time to your luxury wedding, a lot of venues, especially luxury venues, have strict requirements for vendors that come in. So a DJ who just rolls in with his laptop may not cut it. For most weddings in Southern California, you're gonna need a DJ who's gonna bring in quality DJ equipment, an MC, and provide up to nine hours of service to entertain your guests. Now let's talk about what makes a good DJ. Can your DJ read the crowd accurately? People in their 30s don't always want to listen to Cardi B and Drake all night long. A lot of folks love throwbacks and they want their guests to sing along. Your DJ should be able to balance music accordingly so that way the spectrum of your guests and their age groups are equally entertained throughout the evening. What makes your 75 year old grandfather dance is not going to be the same thing that makes your 6 year old nephew dance. Insurance. When it comes time to loading into a venue like this, your venue wants to know that your vendor is qualified and insured. So typically vendors will need commercial auto insurance and commercial liability insurance in Southern California, usually up to $2 million of coverage. Are the quotes you're receiving from your DJs an apple to apple comparison? This usually comes down to equipment. Typically, a wedding that starts at around three o'clock with a reception that starts around five or six will require two separate sound systems. This will allow seamless music transitions between one area and another. When your guests leave your ceremony, they'll be greeted by music as they walk into their reception, and they don't have to wait for the DJ to take one system down and move it to another area. Lighting. Listen. A lot of people associate DJs with flashing lights all over the place. That's fun, but these days, decorative lighting has taken on a big trend. So if you're expecting a beautiful, elegant looking ballroom, don't assume that your DJ is already going to bring that as part of his package. Up lighting, pin spots, washes for your dance floor, intelligent lighting, these are typically add-ons for most DJs. So it's great to communicate whether it's already included in your package or not. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out our lighting guide in the description below. MC, look, we've all been to that cheesy wedding. And sometimes you may actually want that cheesy wedding, but it's great to communicate with your DJ and make sure they're capable of delivering the vibe that you want. So hey, if you want a little bit of cheese, no problem. But if you want to keep things elegant, then no problem. But communication is key. Will your DJ be able to captivate and add a little bit of charisma to your event while making everything flow smoothly? A great MC knows when to speak and also when not to speak. So how do you decide between a DJ that charges $2,000 and a DJ that charges $4,000? Well, here are some factors to keep into consideration. What's the inventory of equipment that your DJ is providing you for your event? Is it two speakers, four speakers, eight speakers? Do you need two speakers? Do you need eight speakers? These are some things to keep into consideration. Lavalier mic for your priest, cordless handheld mics for your speeches. How popular and in demand is your DJ? If they book a year in advance, there'll probably be less wiggle room for negotiation. Have you seen the DJ perform? And did that exceed your expectations? Most of our clients see us at a wedding and tell themselves, we got to get this guy for our wedding. You have to know that when you're hiring a DJ, you're not just hiring someone to play music. You're hiring someone that's going to control your audience for different things that may be happening throughout your event. Your first dance, photos, your father-daughter dance. We've all been to that party where the DJ broke the party. And let's face it, a DJ does make or break a party. A great DJ means a packed dance floor, which means excellent photos and videos for you. A great DJ and MC can roll with the punches and break the tension after speeches. Does your wedding DJ go beyond the needs of the call and consult you on your wedding planning? For example, it's great that you may want to play 90s music all night long, but keep in mind a great DJ will let you know when and where to do that. Your DJ should be challenging you on your event flow 
and taking the initiative to make sure that your event is a big success. How experienced is your DJ at weddings? We've had clients in the past that have hired us to bring equipment for their friends who happen to be celebrity DJs. Well, we've also seen incidences where these celebrity DJs don't take the responsibility to download tracks that are very important to the bride and groom, like the first dance. For a general rule of thumb, your DJ should take interest in what songs are sentimental to you, your fiance, and the relationship that you guys hold. Testimonials and reviews. You should be able to easily find a lot of reviews for your DJ online but your DJ should also be able to provide you with a referral or two. Lastly, here are three ways that you could save money on your DJ's cost. Number one, lighting. Most DJ companies offer lighting as part of their packages. And if you book with them rather than going through another vendor, very likely you're gonna see a substantial cost savings. Similarly, number two, photo booth. Everyone wants a photo booth at their wedding. Everyone does a photo booth at their wedding. If you want one, then look at getting a photo booth from your DJ as this will also save on additional costs rather than booking from an outside vendor. Number three, find out if you're getting quoted for too much or too little equipment. Talk to your venue or your wedding planner to find out how much equipment you actually need at your venue. I see weddings for 100 people that has four speakers and that could be overkill. On the same note, I've seen weddings where DJs provide two speakers for 300 people and that's not gonna cut it. So there you have it guys, AJ with Special Occasions DJ and Lighting. And that was a quick overview on your wedding reception DJ cost. If you have any questions regarding your wedding, please drop them in the comments below. And for all your wedding tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe.